In many parts of the world, we face ample division within the collective human consciousness. A good example of this is the modern political spectrum, wherein no matter which side one finds themselves on, often there is an acute level of hatred, discord, and vitriol directed to those with other ideologies. Certainly, there's nothing wrong with healthy competition, proper debate, and even sibling rivalry. However, when anger corrupts the mind, we easily become consumed by such mental and emotional contamination, which complicates our discernment, toxifies our relationships, and makes it nearly impossible to find solutions to major problems. Yet, there is great wisdom in seeking enlightened unity. When unity is found through reconciliation, there is peace and harmony. This is where humanity is going ultimately, and whether it takes us 10 years or a thousand, we will reach a place of unity consciousness. And the more we discuss what unity means, the sooner we get there. So in this video, we wanna share a personal experience that taught us about unity. And we pray that it helps all of us draw a little bit closer to inner and outer harmony. Enjoy. There I was floating in a great black void. I was surrounded by darkness, but standing tall before me was a great illuminated statue of Thoth, the Egyptian god of wisdom. In his hand was a stone tablet, and he was carving something into it. As I peered closer at the block, suddenly it burst forth with water, and a great river flooded down from it, weaving back and forth until it caught me in its waves and carried me through the abyss. I flowed with this water until at last I came to the end of its current, and it delivered me into a large pond. And in the middle of this pond, there was a large stone, the very stone tablet that Thoth had been carving, which I could not previously read, now standing tall before me. Upon it, there were three short sentences. In all capitals it read, Truth is the law. Love is the law. Authenticity is the law. As I read them, these three lines were inscribed upon my heart, and from that moment they became the most important laws by which I sought to follow and live my life by, no matter what. Through them, true unity was understood that each of these laws were pure reflections of the same thing. In one of our recent Spirit Science episodes, which describes and explores the nature of God, one of the ideas we discussed was that God is law. This is a common understanding of the divine reality that is put forth by Jewish, Christian, Islamic, Hindu, Egyptian, and even Taoist teachings. It is said that the divine spirit speaks to us in the language we're receptive to. And so while the vision presented itself through the image of the Egyptian God of wisdom, so also could it have been given through an image of Jesus, Buddha, or even Krishna, and it still would have had the same effect. What this vision imparted was that truth, love, and authenticity create a comprehensible archetypal foundation for the cosmic laws that are established. And by this understanding, to be in harmony with God means abiding by these laws of creation. To be free then of sin and karma means to not go against such fundamental rules upon which reality is based. And we can easily see that when we are full of hate or lie to one another and distort the truth, we create a lesser suffering filled reality for ourselves. The trinity of truth, love and authenticity can also be applied to existing frameworks without distorting them, but may even help us to understand them better. For instance, with the Christian concept of the Holy Trinity, truth can represent the father aspect, meaning cosmic consciousness or Godhead. Love can signify the son, the Christ consciousness or God's presence imminent in all creation. And authenticity can denote the Holy Spirit, great comforter or divine mother, and whose wisdom, which is present to any and everyone who is willing to listen and receive. While there are many layers to how we might observe the truth, love, and authenticity dynamic, it may be most beneficial for us to simply meditate on these principles as virtues through which we may live wholesome and balanced lives, and through which we may destroy the false light delusions that we find ourselves in. Truly, if we could each come to agree on something like this, and approach all of our conflicts from a place of truth, love, and authenticity being the highest metric by which we orient ourselves to, we would naturally create a world filled with peace, wisdom, and harmony. 
For instance, if more companies and big businesses in the world were to adopt truth, love, and authenticity as primary virtues by which to operate, the people using their services would only see benefit. And if the governments of countries could reorient themselves around this concept, the whole of the world could live together in harmony. Truly, the mental poisons of anger and fear are great, but anchoring ourselves to virtuous qualities helps us to purify our minds and our bodies so that we may shine and be full of light. And we hope that this sharing today inspires that inner and outer harmony, just as it has done for us. And so in closing, we are thankful that you took the time to watch this today. And we are also happy to share that this original visionary experience really did happen during a plant medicine ceremony at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. They have an exceptional track record of supporting people in having life transforming experiences, and we can't recommend visiting them enough. For anyone interested to learn more, please watch our YouTube documentary about it called Are Miracles Real? The Secret Mysteries of Ayahuasca, or visit their website using the link in the description. If you let them know that you came from Spirit Science, they'll give you a discount on your trip. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you, and please have an amazing day.